Hello everyone, it's me JB from Inic Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to make any Android apps as plotting apps. So, without one more delay, let's begin. So, right now you can see my Android home screen, right? So, firstly, just open the Play Store. And in the Play Store, just search for one application name as floating apps. Just search this name. And on the first list, you will see the application. So just tap on install to install it firstly. Wait for a few seconds until the complete installation is done. So once the installation is done, just tap on open to open this application. So you will be guided with some instructions. Just proceed by tapping on the arrow. Now here you need to grant some permissions. Just tap on the grant now. Click allow. Click enable now. Just search for the floating apps and just enable this. Now you're good to go. Now all settings are done. Now proceed. Now you will see this kind of user interface, right? So here you can see some more options, right? So in the above, you can see here one floating icon as you can see here right now. A floating icon, right? So you can tap on here and now it will take you to the settings or where you can customize depending upon your needs. So, say you want to add some applications here under this applications like your default applications, right? So, for this, just you can see here, move to the favorites and now you can see your plus icon, right? Just tap on this and now you can see our favorites at being added, right? So, you can see below a uh, rounded plus icon on the bottom. Just tap on this. Now, you can access all the application, games, files which are being installed on your respective Android smartphone. You can see everything here. So, say I want to make my Chrome application as plotting. So, I have added it, right? So, now, just tap on the plotting icons again. And let us move to the favorites. And now you can see here Chrome, right? So let me tap on this Chrome and now voila. Now you can see here it's acting like a floating apps, right? So once I click on the go back to home or once I click on the home button or go back to home, you can see here it still there acting like a bubble or floating icons. And once you tap it, it will just show you back as a mini floating icon. So you can add a tons of applications similarly by going to the options here favorite and you can select all the applications that you want to add here so you can select all and you can edit and you can make any android apps as a floating apps so in my opinion i think it's a very good applications that will let you multitask very easily when you are using a multiple applications on your Android smartphones or tablets then you can definitely try this floating apps applications which will let you use apps over the other applications and it will like like the picture in picture mode also so in my opinion definitely a cool application that you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching